I'll do so. We'll have uh, Gabby's Wraith King. Double stun always feels good. Well up on top lane, D.Y. kind of trapped in here with a girl going to deny him. D.Y. is going to go down. Tim's gets the first blood. Paparazzi couldn't get back for the denial. Bottom lane is going to get a lot of farm. They're we actually going. As, uh, well, D.Y. Tim's Fissure creates a space over on three. Stormbolt, they're coming back over towards Cuckoo. A pick up and throwback. Cuckoo doesn't have the distance. He'll hit a two-man Gale and tries to make a break for the tree line. But yes, so. yeah, it was uh, Prison Island. <laughs> not, even, not, not even Gilligan could get to us. Uh, Paparazzi trying to battle for the top bounty rune. He's able to claim it. Tim's gets the Fissure block off, but TNC feels something is wrong. Fiji Gaming aren't showing enough. The bounties will be taken on bottom, but it's inside the mid where the damage is being done. Venomans have fall so quickly. TNC have so much information for this. And Tim's, he has the Blink Dagger. Let's They're see them around global. The back. They jump in. If they just hit the Nova right now, this will be enough. Global Silence kicks in. There won't be an Nova, but Venomancer does have buyback available. The Fissure makes it difficult for VG Gaming to get in closer. FaZe only has still the Hellfire Blast, but of course, uh, he doesn't care about that. Because, like, he knows you'll get that every single time from the Wraith King. As the army gets summoned, BKB from Wraith King. It's, uh, it's there. He doesn't want to burn it just yet. He's still got the reincarnation. Art Mel's focusing down the rain tracks. Another stun connect from Paparazzi. Ice Blast moves for Paparazzi, and he's back off from this one. The BKB offers Sven. that protection, but now Gabby goes to work, and Tim's hits the Echo Slam into the back lines. And you have your exorcism up, but look at VG Gaming. Stampede and retreat, but they, they kind of forgot someone. Never leave a man behind. Ori wants to continue to fight, as he does have all the ghouls up in the air. Yang Another hits the hook four stars. The four stars connect, but finally, the Acacy Mortal will break. So many abilities being being burnt and they're ready to fight once again. The cold feet triggering onto the centaur. He slowed down the scar. He's doing his work and the damage output from this doozer is so high. Gabby will jump in and finish off the centaur. Buybacks available. They'll lose their range racks here. But what more has VG got left in the tank? Raid King. He's got a salty is up. Yeah, reincarnation's already back, so he doesn't care. They take the lane of racks. Sven's pushing mid lane, but the TPs are already beginning. You can always just force someone out. Oh, and even Medusa VG. has one queued up. <laughs> Look at me. Hey, hey guys, he's taunting as he walks up the hill. The reincarnation Sven will has no mana. Armel's ready to fight. And now, well, then pick him up, throw him back down again. Maybe they have the damage output to get the kill. They do. He's actually down with no buyback available. Gabby, overconfidence is your weakness. He needs a little bit more faith in his friends as TNC try and retreat back out. But now there's two heroes without buyback available. You'll commit huge abilities for sure. Keep jamming. Found him. Here comes your Ice Blast. Ori, he's going to walk straight into it and he knows it too. The chill will effect will come onto Yang. There's your first four staff down. The Global Silence has been triggered. They need that Stone Gate. They also need Dusa to stay alive, but they bring her down almost a minute and a half on the sideline. And Paparazzi putting that damage to use Gabby. He'll get his TP out because they don't have the exorcism still popped anymore. The Vortex is seeing them all. There's your Nova. Here comes your AA Blast. It's going to connect over on Yang and Tim's. Hits the Echo Slam. Working with Gabby to find the kill. Roshan killed up on the Dire Paparazzi. Who's got his Ori? He picked up the Acre the Immortal. They've got the kill already onto the ES. Gabby wants to stand his ground here. He has Reincarnation with the help of DY. Attempting the TP out. The damage is enough to get the kill before he can complete that. But now they turn their they attention to the force with the Gabby, can he get out of the pit? Yes, he can. Forced up of the Exorcism Spirits. They follow through up the Cuckoo with the slow on Ori. They haven't done yet. Tim's, he has the Fissure available in a bit. Nori up the hill. He'll get away. They've got defense problems. They're and VG double bought back. The 40 minute bounty rune. One quick observe what they see. Yang, where's that Ice Blast? The connector's coming in. Tim's gets the perfect hit. It's going to connect over on Yang, so he's chilled up. No regeneration for him, but with the Global Silence, it's allowing VG Gaming to get the counter initiation with their BKBs. They stand their ground. Wraith King doesn't really have much more to give. He'll end up dying, burning the reincarnation, but he's lost his Dusa. Buyback kind of has to be expected if they want to have any chance to win this fight. The Fissure from Tim's will end up cutting There's it out. The it's caught on the wrong side of the Fissure, so now Gabby can find his hit-ins, but what if they got the Vortex? It's making it difficult for VG Gaming to get back down again, so they just push forward and hit down That's the Dusa. So this will be back. huge. If Armel goes down, VG Gaming may just take this. If they can put him in the grave for so long, DY's dying to the illusions. He can't move through the Medusa illusion, so say goodbye to your silencer. And now TNC turn their attention over towards Paparazzi. Gabby wants this. Here comes your Ice Blast, but it flies high while Gabby runs low. Tim's can let the Fissure go. The Lotus Orb won't protect him from this one, but they still need to kill a Paparazzi. That's why Tim's jumps in. He gets the chain stun in, and they find that kill. Then Gabby doesn't want to end there.
there. Fade has to die, but Fade uses the stun of Gabby to get that knock on. For a moment, it really looked bad for Armel. He was caught in a really Great bad vision. position. Fade. Yep. Yeah, that's certain that for him. Yule's up. Nothing is ever certain in Dota, but that, oh, that one's pretty certain. <laughs> Gabby still stands as the uh, as the the night watchman jumps in. Able to connect from the sun. Here comes your ice blast. A little bit further at the back. You'll still be able to get the chill effect over on the center, but Yangus tanks through it. You can summon the army of the dead, but Ori into the back lines. Ancient Apparition is going to TP out, but no, the Yule will end up canceling this. But with that split damage, Armel kills off the centaur. Turns his attention towards slowing up Paparazzi, but that's why they jump in. A quick Hellfire Blast from Fade, but a four staff moves him from one hill to the next. And Ori, they just want to disengage right now. TNC, the Fissure, nice cutting Fisher the block. mid lane. Tim just keeps them out, but Ori, he's going to refresh her off and go once again under the cover of the BKB. He still has Exism available. Fade, what a huge silence. They just hold them there, but the split shot damage. You've got enough, or do you? The Dooza can't continue to hit. Gavin needs to back off. He's got reincarnation. He just wants to kill off this damn Ori, and maybe with the ability Missile Blaze Sunny can just switch targets. That's better. Working with Tims. They bring down Paparazzi. Dead for two minutes, but Ori, he's going 1v4 under the tier 3 towers. The Gal can hear. Remember, he's got that high movement speed. Have a Tims buyback. has to keep him controlled, and they're going to bring him down. Two heroes dead for so long. How much damage can TNC do during this time of no Sven and no DP? That's going to hurt a lot. So DP still has no buyback. They need 100 gold. Bounty runes are spawning in a minute. So that's that's a shame. <laughs> this is gonna be <laughs> mega gonna creeps for Gabby sure. Jumps in instantly. They're looking for that quick pick off the Rubik is a good one to claim it on. And the Ice Blast will ensure it, but no four staff and a blink away. Fake gets the distance. But the army of the dead is just ripping apart the base. They have to fortify VG Gaming. 10 seconds before Paparazzi is back to the world of the living. But the dead await him. DY, what have you got? Another quick silence from Ori, trying to keep that control up. You do have that reincarnation, so even if they do find the kill over on Rage King, it's just buying more space for Armel and his Lucius to move forward. That's why Paparazzi needs to clean them up. Well, that courier is flying over the shop, so I'm just keeping a weathered eye on the courier's horizon. Ori jumps to the front lines. That creep wave <laughs> just gets nuked so quickly. And here we go again. But the army move forward. Fade hangs in the trees. Yule Setter begins over on the Dusa. You remember? You have the extra life. Two minutes left on the Aegis Demoral. It's a good ice blast. Connecting on Ori as well as Yang. And the DP. Well, she tries to actually foul the Dusa, but the issue is over on the side where DY is barely alive. He'll get the global silence off for the bigger initiation. Hit the back lines from Tim's. Of course it did. Ori has all the high movement speed that comes from that ultimate. Fade tries to return the Nova, but hits an absolutely no one. They're all out of range. And Ray King just stays with Paparazzi. They want to kind him, they want to control him. He has no move with speed when he actually dies, like when the Ray King dies. The Fissure lands the stun, splits the team fight. Gabby's in a little bit too deep, he'll end up going down. Buyback's available, he's not going to commit it just yet. They have got the Mega Creeps, and now it looks like TNC just want to get the hell out of here. Dusa may not have that chance. She has the Aegis Seam also, she'll end up living to fight another day as she buybacks. Catapults with the are hitting the drone. Forward. Gabby is ready to move forward as Ori, he's running out of time, and he's very eyes from the rest of his team, so Paparazzi, you'll stun him up, you'll let the Illusions do the work as Paparazzi now basically moonwalks on the spot. That's just his movement speed. The Fidget Control is there, Yang can't get in. No he's trying to move in to help out with no spam, with no Yang. The Centaur can't move, he's for two minutes, Tim is just styling on Ori. He kept the he kept her control totally, and they get the GG. I don't know where the debate was more heated, uh, be it on the panel or be it with ROTK and his players. And the simple no, yeah, I like that. No, shut up. I know what I'm doing. Just sit down, and uh, I'm gonna pick the heroes for you. Mm. The voodoo restoration so that gives him a little bit more sustain on oh, mid lane. Armel, the kick from Fade, the slow is good. One quick hit. 3.5k net worth to the 5k of the Wraith King. Tim's caught out in the trees. He uh, cannot get the stomp off in time. While Ball Lightning forward, Witch Doctor looking for a rebuttal. DY has the Warcraft to give him some extra life. The Stormbot will connect. DY so low on life. Armel will finish the job and then Ball Lightning away. Assassination will be able to connect, but thanks to the one charges, the Sentry Ward combination. And that gives them a faster angle in towards mid. A quick silence on the Ancient Apparition. And already Wraith King is running north. Get away, up the hill, over towards the shrine. It's not available for him actually just yet. 
Assassination gives the extra vision. Gabby looking for the movement speed with the phase boost. He Team. actually dodges the kick. Now TNC. Now what he got with Tim's with the stomp. The spirit staying on top of him. They're just focusing this down. There's been a lot of damage for the ET as well. But he waits for the stomp. So then the reincarnation slow goes to work. Here comes your ice blast and your storm spirit jumping in, trying to drag back in phase. They'll find that one moving onto the witch doctor. The two supports die. Ancient apparition buys back to be involved in this fight. Tim's just watching Roshan, but Paparazzi's oh, wrapping around the back. Cuckoo never saw him coming. The assassination flies forward. Tim's, oh, Cuckoo gives him the extra life. Connects with the girl, which summons the two extra wards. Paparazzi cleans up quickly, thanks to Echo Saber. But Gabby, he jumps in. He wants to support the Ice Blast. will fly in. This should just kill off DY, maybe with the Shatter effect. But Gabby's going to lose his life for it. DY. And he's actually not going to die through this. My god, TNC really won this kill. Now they'll lose both of their supports. As they sit on the hillside, DY, they don't see anything, however. The courier flies over. Here's your ball lightning forward. Ori, where is that BKB of his? The ice blast will connect. And Ori, he should end up shattering. In fact, that's exactly what happens. Armel finds the kill. Gabby's on the retreat back out again, but Paparazzi, too much damage. Sniper has no buyback available, but TNC, they have to help out their core here. They can't make it a one for one trade off. So send him invis, give him a push away. Cuckoo is actually walking through the Dark Seal wall to stay on the front lines. Remember, he's still got the Nova available. That's why DA DY uses the range. The Plague Wards begin the battle for vision. Here comes your Ice Blast. It's pretty deep. DY Paparazzi. We're going to move frame by frame as DY tries to move away. Sentry Wall being planted down so they can see as we'll have a quick second. This fade's probably going to be his primary target in the back lines. As DY, he will shatter. Gabby's BKB wearing up. Remember, he's still got the reincarnation. Here comes your assassination four. That's damage to find the kill. Good Nova catching up both Paparazzi as well as Fade. As Armel, he's in the back lines looking to just mess up the supports, but Wraith King's already gone down. Big no the double. The ET splitter is pretty damn good, but what do they get in return? Again, it's two supports for a core. For this task. Once again, smoking Jump. for the ruins. Here comes Gabby with the Ice Blast. I'm not good for that task at all. The Ice Blast actually it hits the Darkseer Wall, creating some problems. And with the Gale, they've got the ET Splitter and the Nova. Fades in a little bit of trouble, but they still can't get him for all the War Cries and the BKB protections. PG Gaming, they're staying alive, but now Storm goes to work. Ori, he's isolated. The rest of his team backed up, but he wasn't with them. He never got the memo. Fate comes in to buy some time, but Armel has the mana barely to get through into the Sniper. And they want to get out of here. Cuckoo, the Gale will connect again, summoning those two wards. DY going in with no a vision. The Storm Hammer, it'll connect on two. Cuckoo and Gabby, they're a little bit too low. You've still got the reincarnation from Gabby, so he'll come back to fight. So Cuckoo, looking for his own battle around the Fog of War, does not have it. Storm Spirit, he's already left. He's going mid to push out the lanes. And Ancient Apparitions are also bailing out. The TP, that took a oh. while, but he's out to save for some initiation, but they don't have information. Like they're, The one observer, what they have is inside TNC's base. And now it's TNC's turn. Five-man smoke up. The smokes will break each other. Gabby's on the front line. DY, he's the one that's Gloomer Caves hiding. And Gabby, he's trying to be the bait again. Taunting them forward. Arcane Rune. Oh, no. Oh. And Paparazzi will grab it. He doesn't find it. Now Gabby is isolated in front of Roshan. Damn that cannon of Ori. It's so damn strong. Paparazzi will jump up. The BKBs are wearing off. He's got to be careful. So they surge him away. Now the Ice Blast will fly as well. Gabby initiates. As well as Armel. They want the kill, but they couldn't hold him inside the Ice Blast. So now Gabby's got to do it the hard way. Maybe they have enough. But with the Magnetize, Gabby's BKB, he's trying to walk this up, but no reincarnation. Buyback's available, but the Storm's got almost no life as well as no mana. He had to go all the way back to base. The Nova, it's pretty damn good. Getting most of EG gaming, but TNC, there's no one left to really do anything with it. Tim's is there. He has to begin his own TP out of Storm Spirit. Goes right through Paparazzi. He, he got gets him. him. He got Paparazzi he almost 2,000. 1915. But TNC wrapped around the north. Puts the Plague Ward down. But look at DY. The wrap around with the Coconut could do some work. Pushing himself forward, but he doesn't have the extra detection. Storm down. Back. Here comes the Storm Spirit. He's going to TP himself out and then look for the ball lightning in. Straight to the back lines with his own hex to try and focus down Gabby. They Big actually got through instantly on Ori to bring him down as Gabby BKB up the ET splitter. VG Gaming, they just want to back out. They all got hit by that Nova. But as DY, he's actually in a little bit more trouble. Tim's is staying with him. They'll punch him down with a phone book, but now Fade wants his own initiation with the silence. They've got so many problems. Reincarnation is available for the Wraith King, but ET also has to buy back. So much money, so much committal from TNC. They need a good fight from this one. That's Can why he, Armel, he jumps in. They might be able to actually get him at a secondary time. Ori, he's standing his ground. How much life still has he, he got, got through his basket madness? He's going to live with his BKB. Hurricane by pushing back Tim's. Ori is a beast from downtown. He will continue to fight. The assassination flies forward. That's helping the game, get the kill be. over on Tim's. It does feel that way, but Gabby is not done yet. He needs to find his own kill. Summon the army of the dead. You're Aragorn. Gabby's in the trees. 
He needs to get out of this one. The rolling boulder, it connects perfectly. Gabby, how much have you got to fight with? He's still gonna raid by a blast, but the Hex is out. The Wraith King will go down. Each Nepper is the only one with buyback. Hey, you. Careful where you stand. The Ice Blast flies forward. But GG, well played. TNC will call it. We have a game three on our hands to wrap up the night. Uh, this is just the way we roll here at Epicenter. Alchemist, Toby. Yeah? We've seen Alchemist today, one of the fastest Radiants uh, yep. ever on Sumail. Keeping Paparazzi low with the Acid Spray. Fish is done, and this will be your first blood. Paparazzi, one punch from Armel, we'll get it. Yang, play Mars for the first time. Oh, I, it felt like it was his first game. The mana. That's Over just... the time, it got improved. All right. Yeah, just chain stun him up, slow him up, and they even let Armel have the last hit again. The Radiance is available. Now, Centaur's the only one that's not there, but he has Stampede. So they got ways to close the distance. The Observed Ward scattered out thanks to the Sentry Ward that's been placed. Tim's. Oh, the Soul Bind. Lock them together. Now Armel runs forward. The wall will come up, but with the Omni Slash, Yang and Paparazzi, they get a little bit further back, but you've lost one in the form of Yang. The Rock will drop. A Concoction also flies forward. They could just tank through all this damage. DY is burning. They're trying to fight underneath this Radiance, and that's problematic. When the Centaur comes out for the Sun on the side, Paparazzi just want the distance. Do not let that further do any real work. When the Fissure stuns, they can just hold him there, and Armel has a double kill. He actually burned it from the other side of the rock wall. And the Alchemist will come in. Gabby gets the last hit on the town, but it's in towards mid where now Cuckoo looks for his target. They have that one observer one running forward. Fade gets the hex off with the slow, but Tim does his work. Now Soulbind plus the rock. And it was actually in the opposite combination than that. But underneath the exorcism, Cuckoo can start killing off his entire teammate. And with a wall, it's being dropped too. Two heroes lost, and he actually double edged. <laughs> Centaur is down there. The Juggernaut's the closest to them. And that's why they jump forward. Blink from Fade reveal. They get the shackles up. And easy spear to finish the job. Not even required. Every single ulti is ready. They want to take a fight right now. Scan is going to connect. Your Scepter up. He's got the silence available as well with the Spirit Siphon. Yang lets down the wall. And they just need to hold him in the soul bind with the double silence, but it's still not going to save that Centaur's life. Or maybe he will. He gets a stampede off, running himself out of the wall. Armel's got concoction available with the Omni Slash. They're getting the damage out. Mars will fall, but at what cost? The Rock will drop and the Fiddle Bonds have connected them up. The silence is there. And Gabby, they're killing each other off. They can't walk away fast enough. Both the Alchemist as well as the Centaur is about to die. And we'll watch this with a double kill to Ori, and here comes VG Gaming up the hill. Committed to a buyback, and uh, it's time the, for the dunk. There it it's is, he's going in buybacks. Oh, that hex. It comes so fast. The Centaur, he was the bait. The Creep Wave has arrived, but there was no initiation for the ES timing. Alchemist can now buy back Tim's. It's the perfect Echo Slam. Or Another three, good but silence. the quick silence. They just hold them in position. They cannot move quick enough away, TNC. The upheaval of DY. Makes maneuvering impossible for TNC. It's hilarious to say that after game two, when it was VG who were being kited. Double damage oh, once Yang. again on Yang. Oh, nice Mel. man to dodge. Yeah. She only got the illusion out of it, but he can't walk out of it. The Fissure, he keeps walking back into the wall, taking so much damage That's to the a Alchemist. Dieback. Yeah, he's dead for 80 seconds. Quick sentry ward being planted. They only see the dire sentry there, so they know there's no obs on the hill. But it's a little bit further back. Whoa, hello. Off stomp forward. Where's Cuckoo. the follow-up? Stampede needs to come in, but he got silenced instantly. He's dead so quickly. Fade just holds the shackles. And Fade. Oh, he put down different type of wards. And the Observer attempts great initiation. But the Rock counter initiation from DY. Locking them inside the arena of blood. Nowhere to go. Fade's got the ultimate control. The Alchemist will pop. No buyback available. And GG is called VG Gaming. They have done it. They have fought back against TNC to take the series 2-1 and get a date with Liquid in the winner's bracket final.